Hi, in today's video we'll be looking at this uh, oscillator based on uh, an operational amplifier we'll be using the LM741 we'll be analyzing the circuit and then uh, we'll try to build it in, uh, in, in the breadboard and uh, test it and understand how it works uh, so let's start uh, analyzing the circuit and uh, see how it works so at uh, t equals 0 initial time uh, the output of the voltage divider at the input side of the op-amp this one is half VCC is half VCC so V if we call this V3 is the voltage at pin 3 we call V2 the voltage at pin 2 and V6 the voltage at pin 6 so V3 equal half VCC 6 volt by that time at t equals 0 V2 will be 0 volt because the capacitor didn't start to charge yet so the voltage uh, across the capacitor is null and V2 is null now V2 is less than V3 the output in this case will be high so V6 will be at high potential which mean R3 and R1 are in parallel in this case so when the output is high So when the output turns high we can say that r1 and r3 are in parallel so our voltage divider in this case can be represented as follow so we will have 50k which is r1 parallel to r3 and then we have r2 which is 100k in this case the output will be two-thirds of the input VCC so two-thirds VCC so will be 8 volt in this case so V3 in this case will be 8 volt so now we have V3 we have V3 equal 8 volt when our comparator turns uh, its output to high and at the same time the capacitor here start to charge up start to charge and the voltage across the capa uh, capacitor start to raise until it reach 8 volt when it reach 8 volt what will happen our output will turn low so our comparator will turn the output low and in other terms V6 or the pin 6 will be at low potential so when the pin 6 is at low potential we can say that so when the output is low V6 is, uh, is at low potential we can say that R3 so R3 now becomes parallel to R2 so our voltage divider can be represented in this case as follow so we will have 100k at this side of the voltage divider which is R1 and then we will have here R2 parallel to R3 so 50k now in this case the output of the voltage divider we are talking about the voltage divider here not the op operational amplifier the voltage divider output at pin V3 will be one third of VCC okay which is equal to 4 volts so in this case V3 
will be equal to 4 volt and in this case also when v6 is uh, at low potential what will happen to the capacitor now the capacitor is starting to discharge through the resistor 3.3k here it starts to discharge and the voltage v2 so here we have v2 start to raise when the output turns low v2 start to drop and then when v2 reach 4 volt now the output will turn the the operational uh, amplifier will turn uh, its output to uh, high so when v2 reach 8 volt the output turn low when v2 discharge the capacitor discharge and v2 reach 4 volt the output will turn high and this will alternate the capacitor will charge and discharge and the output will alternate between low and high so this is how our uh, uh, oscillator works S if we want to uh, check now the frequency uh, let's try to first to uh, trace the output so let's see the output now at pin 6 uh, and how we c let's try to trace it so basically what we will have is a square wave this is the output it's a square wave okay uh, and if we try to trace uh, the capacitor charge and discharge curve we saw that the capacitor will charge and discharge between the uh, one third and two third of the voltage uh, VCC which is uh, 4 and 8 volts so if this is one third VCC and this is two third VCC we saw that when the output is high the volt the capacitor will start to charge and when the output is low the capacitor start to discharge charge and then discharge so when the capacitor reach 8 volt the output will turn low and it will start to discharge and then when it reach when it discharge to 2 volt uh, sorry 4 volt 4 volts it will start to charge again and then the output of the operational am amplifier will switch between high and low uh, th so the frequency of this oscillator uh, can be controlled by controlling the values of the capacitor and the resistor uh, the time constant as we all know is RC this is the time constant and by changing the time constant we will change the uh, uh, frequency rate of this oscillator uh, for the, the general uh, equation now for the uh, for the frequency is in this case for this oscillator is 1 over 1.4 times R times C so if we if our capacitor uh, is in this case uh, op 0.1 uh, microfarad this will give us with the 3.3 K resistor will give us a frequency of 2.2 uh, kilohertz If we drop this capacitance to 0, 1 microfarad, then uh, the uh, the frequency will raise to 22 kilohertz. Okay. So this is the theory behind this oscillator. Let's uh, jump to the breadboard to build uh, the the circuit and then uh, test it. 
Okay, so this is our circuit now built on the breadboard and uh, as you can see the operational amplifier LM741 uh, and then we have the uh, uh, voltage divider uh, 100k resistor, 100k resistor we have the feedback resistor here, 100k as well and then we have the um, the 3.3k resistor and the capacitor uh, this one is uh, 0.1 uh, microfarad and uh, we have the LED and the uh, 2.2k resistor here so uh, with this capacitor now we, sh we will not be able to see uh, the LED, the blue LED blinking because uh, with uh, 0.1 microfarad uh, we should have a frequency as we calculated before a frequency of 2.2k and 2.2k of course will not be visible uh, with the human eye so let's power up our uh, um, uh, circuit and we can later on change the capacitance and uh, uh, control that and lower the frequency so we can see the LED blinking Okay, so as we see, the, the, the LED is lit, uh, but we can't see any uh, blinking. So uh, we'll be changing now the capacitor. We'll, we'll uh, change this capacitor and we'll use now uh, 220 microfarad. So as soon as we change the capacitor to 220 microfarad, we can see that uh, the, the LED start to blink. And uh, if we calculate, I'll calculate quickly the new new frequency now. Uh, <coughs> so it's 1.4. It's one over 1.4 times uh, 3,300 ohms times. 210 microfarads and that will give us uh, a frequency of uh, 1 hertz this is 1 hertz frequency uh, we later on we'll see all this in the oscilloscope we'll, we'll try to trace the curves uh, what now if we put another uh, 220 microfarads uh, sorry, this was 220 microfarad. 220 microfarad. Uh, what if we use now 200 another 220 microfarad in parallel with this one? So let's add another capacitor and observe what will happen. And as expected, uh, the frequency now is even lower. See. So I'll calculate quickly. So it's 1 over 1.4 times 3.3k uh, times uh, 420 microfarad now. And this frequency now, as calculated, is half hertz frequency. Okay? Uh, third and last uh, test we'll use now. Uh, we will use a capacitance of uh, 10 microfarad so this is 10 microfarad yeah and with 10 microfarad we are we are decreasing the capacitance so we are increasing the frequency and this frequency uh, if we calculate again So this is 21.6, mm, 22 hertz. This, uh, fric this is a 22 hertz uh, oscillation frequency. Okay, so uh, let's now jump to the uh, oscilloscope and see all those traces and see the curve of the um, uh, capacitor uh, output okay and see the uh, oscillation curve trace as well okay so as we can see in the oscilloscope 
uh, we can see that uh, the oscillation is at one uh, one one hertz now. It's uh, nine nine hundred sixty millihertz. So it's uh, one hertz, and we can see that the uh, peak to peak voltage of the uh, oscillation square oscillation is around twelve volt, eleven point nine, eleven point eight volt and the uh, charging and discharging of the capacitor the trace there we can see that the peak to peak voltage is 4 volt which is uh, one third of the uh, VCC uh, voltage so if we try to increase the capacitance so let's go and add another uh, uh, 220 microfarad uh, capacitor in parallel and we see that the frequency has dropped to the half it's uh, 0.5 hertz now it's half hertz 400 469 uh, millihertz almost half hertz of course there is some tolerance in the component that we are using so by the decrease by decreasing the capacitance we see that uh, the frequency by by increasing the capacitance we see that the frequency has decreased two capacitor in parallel increase the capacitance uh, two capacitor in series decrease uh, the capacitance it's the opposite of the uh, resistor for capacitors uh, let's use now uh, 10 microfarads so we will substitute the two capacitors with 10 microfarad capacitors And we see that charging and discharging time of the capacitor remain uh, same between one third, between one third and two third, between one third and two third of VCC. Let's use now. 0.1 microfarad and see if we can get the 2.2 kilohertz that we calculated earlier So the capacity, the oscilloscope is showing 2.34 kilohertz. It's uh, close, very close to what we calculated, and we can see that our oscillator works as expected and as calculated. Okay, then. So that's that. Uh, we've managed to uh, analyze and build this uh, very nice circuit uh, based on the uh, LM741. Uh, the oscillator works perfectly as calculated and as uh, uh, expected, let's say. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.